Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is a brief demonstration and sort of a test for me on this GoStream M2 HDMI video switcher from OC. I picked this up off of Amazon and I'll link into it into the description. This is a bit of a review from me and a shout out to Danny Black. He actually did a very good video on this. The one thing that I wasn't sure of at the time but I took a chance anyway that he didn't make mention in his live stream or video was the line in when you're doing audio. I have a lot of audio equipment. I usually do a lot of demonstrations with amplifiers and interfaces and things like that. But and I wanted to know about the line in if it was a mono or a stereo. Happy to report that it is a stereo. And the way I am using the audio line in is that I have a mixer here, my PV6 USB mixer. I have the microphone that I'm talking to you through now was a Sterling Audio, very inexpensive, uh, large diaphragm condenser microphone running through a tube MP and that is going into channel one through the mixer. Now, one thing I noticed, and I don't know if this is a software issue or if this is a physical, like maybe a defect of the GoStream M2, is that the left and right ch input channels are swapped, meaning that the left is right and right is left. Otherwise, if I was to try, and if you hear me on the panning, so left channel, left channel, right channel, right channel. Over here, you can see that my left and right outputs here are swapped to be able to correlate to the, M, the GoStream M2 on the stereo panning. Not a big deal. I don't think that's really a big deal. Uh, big issue for a lot of people but for audio applications it's just something to be aware of here on my macbook 2012 i'm running catalina mid 2012 and uh, obs studio i think it's a uh, build 29.0.2 which still works with catalina and i know that i can always add a filter to swap the stereo panning if i wanted to for the live streaming or the recording part of it which is i don't have that filter right now but this is really cool. And the be, to be able to sweep between the two HDMI sources like this at the push of a button, it's just so cool. And then moving it to each corner, it actually remembers the, as he mentioned, the, the size of the corner picture and picture, then your side by side. Now you could go a little bit larger like that, which is actually very interesting to be able to do. And then same thing with this, I can go a little bit larger like this and keeps the wide angle format. But yeah, that's just that's just awesome. I am really excited to be using this tool here for my videos moving forward. So I hope this demonstration and video helps people and just keep a minor note with the left is right, right is left on the input side. I haven't had a chance to use the microphone input because I really don't need to because I have all this uh, audio equipment set up like this, but the headphone out works out great. I have some nice Audio-Technica studio grade headphones with a high impedance and they're able to drive uh, without any lack of volume. So that's a very good thing to have. And while it does get a little physically warm during operation, it's well within tolerances. I haven't seen had where it's felt like it's really overheated, but thanks again guys for watching and supporting my channel and I'll see you guys on the next review.